The RTX 3080 Ti is getting its official announcement in just a couple days by Nvidia themselves. And if you've been one of the people that have paid these leaked dates completely no mind and just been waiting on the official word from Nvidia, good choice on your part because these dates have changed more times than hookers and clothes. It's been ridiculous. I, annoying, really. But I do have some uh, benchmarks from the 3080 Ti for you. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech Vibe. Today we're gonna to be looking at some 3080 Ti news. We're gonna be looking at when we can expect Nvidia to give their official word for the 3080 Ti and announcing this card and when we can expect the actual release date, as well as some leaked benchmarks that we've seen for the 3080 Ti pop up. I know it's not out yet, but some people have it and there's benchmarks floating around. And we're gonna look at it. Before that, this video is brought to you by CDK Deals. CDK Deals is a website that provides games and other software for a really good price. And right now, you can get a Windows 10 Pro key for just under $18. Just apply my special discount code at checkout, receive 20% off, and check out securely with PayPal. Once the payment is cleared, you'll be given a code in your account as well as an email. To activate, all you need to do is search activate now in your Windows search bar, click the activate settings, and type in your key. To learn more, check the links below. With our last update of the 3080 Ti, we found out that the 3080 Ti was going to be pushed back by a week. But when we did talk about this, it still looked like it was going to be coming out on the 3rd of June. And it seems as if we're hearing now you will actually be able to buy the GPU on the 4th of June. Now, these updates have gotten somewhat ridiculous with the push-pull release dates that have been going on, but it appears that Monday we can expect to get the official announcement from NVIDIA at the next Computex keynote event. Now, much like you guys, I'm really hoping that there are no more updates regarding a different release date for the 3080 Ti and that this is the absolute last time that anyone on YouTube is talking about when we can expect this to release. Trust me, I'm with you guys here 100%, especially as someone that's wanting to get the card themselves. If you are interested in trying to pick up the Founders Edition card, according to a leak from videocards.com, it's going to look the same as the 3080 Founders Edition coming in with the same two slot wide dual fan design and with the 12 pin power connector. I'm honestly a big fan of this design aside the power connector and if we could do something about that, I would be really happy. If anyone has seen any adapters out there, please let me know because I'm going to need something a little bit more pretty. Along with the screenshots of the card itself or the founder's edition at least, we have also confirmed specs of the 3080 Ti, so we don't have to wonder how well this is going to compare to the 3090 anymore. Now, according to videocards.com, we have a snapshot of GPU-Z showing the 3080 Ti in all of its glory. One of the big things that we weren't too sure on was the TDP for the 3080 Ti, but with the help of GPU-Z and videocards.com, we know now that the TDP of the 3080 Ti will be the same as the 3090, coming in at 350 watts. Now, if that wasn't enough news for you for the 3080 Ti, we even have some benchmarks on a game that probably none of you have played. But you've probably seen some benchmarks for this game before. 3080 Ti has had benchmarks released for Ashes of Singularity tested at crazy presets for 4K, 1440p, and 1080p. And it happened to score a 9300, 9100, and 8700, respectively. Here's a few screenshots for you to get a closer look. The 3080 Ti news just continues to come in and you can actually pre-order a 3080 Ti and a 3070 Ti pre-built system on the Razer store on Chinese Tmall. And they actually look pretty sweet, but they're definitely not cheap. 
I feel like I have a very difficult decision to make next week because I do have plans to take my little happy self to Micro Center and camp out and try to get this 3080 Ti. But I'm very conflicted with this because I do want to get the 3080 Ti, but when I am out there spending as much money as I am, I really feel the sense of urgency to possibly just get the 3090. They have very similar uh, performance as far as gaming goes, but the extra VRAM could definitely uh, have some use. So it's a very difficult situation or uh, decision for me to make right now. I'm sure I'm gonna go with the 3080 Ti just because I can save the money and use it for something else, but it's, it's very burdening on me because I know that the 3080 Ti doesn't make the most sense. So I know, I get that. For anybody that's gonna be in the comments talking about, why would you get the 3080 Ti? Just get the 3090. Guys, I know, all right? I know, I know, I understand. But the thing is, people want are gonna wanna see the 3080 Ti, and I feel like it's going to have quite a bit of availability with how long this thing has actually been shipping out to retailers. So maybe I can get this for the MSRP price that we're hoping is going to be that $1,000. So we're gonna see how this all works out. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't made the finite decision, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with the 3080 Ti. I don't know, I'm rambling. But let me know what you guys think. Do you plan on going ahead and trying to get the 3080 Ti? Do you have plans to go camp out in a micro center somewhere near you? I don't know if this thing is going to show up in retail stores like Best Buy the day of. I'm sure, it's gonna have launch dates like online, but I don't know. I don't know about the brick and mortar stores. It's been really hit or miss on that one. So I guess we'll see. But guys, let me know what you plan on doing. Let me know if you're going to be planning on to go in Micro Center. Maybe I'll see you at one. If you got some sort of value out of this video, I ask you, please consider hitting that like, subscribing to the channel, guys. We really do our best to help out here. And I'm serious when I say it really does help me as a YouTuber grow. It tells YouTube that I'm a decent YouTuber and they put my videos out there for more people to see. I get the chance to help other people, yada, 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 stuff like that. So please consider it. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you can like, hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you. I got this little plant the other day at Whole Foods, I'm trying to look like a real YouTuber and stuff with plants. I don't know, I always see people with it, so, you know, he's alright. A little succulent, doing his thing.